Alright, what is going on y'all? Today we're going to be playing some four color Doom Foretold. Uh, Andrea Mangucci has played some version or another of this deck for every tournament that I've noticed in the last couple months, and he seems to be the only one playing it, which got me very curious. So I'm going to see, see what it's about, just give it a try here. Uh, it's not exactly the same version that he ran in the last tournament. I don't have uh, four Treasurous Blessings crafted, and it's not an essential card, it's not played in any other deck, so I just replaced it with some extra golden eggs here. And I think that's the only major change I've got. So the idea here is you play a bunch of permanents that get value when they enter the battlefield, such as Treasure's Blessing, which allows you to draw three cards, Omen of the Sea, which lets you look at cards and draw them, and Golden Egg draws cards, Omen of the Sun makes tokens, Elspeth's Nightmare and other sagas can destroy things and discard cards and get lands and all sorts of good stuff. And then when you have all those permanents on the board, since they don't do much after they're after they ETB, then you sacrifice them to Doom Foretold, while your opponent has to sacrifice their creatures or other important permanents to Doom Foretold. So that should advantage you, and then when your opponent is out of permanents, and since you run so many permanents that all draw cards, you should have more permanents on the board than they do, then you get an extra uh, card advantage here because they discard, you draw a card, and uh, plus two life, minus two life, and you make a 2-2 with Vigilance, so Doom Foretold gets all sorts of value. And of course, since we're running all these permanents with Enters the Battlefield effects, we're running Yorian Companion and three Yorians main, so we can get additional value out of all of them. Uh, in terms of win cons, we've got our tokens, we can attack with the Yorians, we've also got Arkan of Sun's Grace since we're playing lots of enchantments. This can take over the battlefield and has some key life gain, which if you're paying life to the Treasurer's Blessing, that gets important. And also we have Pelucranos, which is a very versatile threat, it's hard for most decks to deal with permanently and some Amiria's Calls in the mana base for just another way to try and close out the game. And that's pretty much all in the main that needs explaining. On the side we've got some Cling to Dust for the grindier matchups and rogues, we've got some counter spells, some duresses for obvious reasons, um, some Eliminates, Elspeth's Nightmares, the extra Archon, and the Shadows Verdicts for the more uh, aggro matchups generally. Uh, Elspeth's Nightmare, of course, also very good against rogues, and that's really all there is to that. So yeah, let's go try it out. It's worth noting, I believe that Test of Talents is the only new Strixhaven card in this deck. Which we have. Oh, and also two Vanishing Verse for a versatile removal spell, of course. Uh, we've got lands and we've got things that do things, so this hand should be pretty good. Looks like this is Gruel. Eliminate is pretty good for that. Got plenty of removal for whatever they want to throw at us here. Ah, uh, Naya. Okay. Well, we can't let them have a Clarion Spirit, so that's gotta go. The Innkeeper will have to wait. has been assembled. Uh, let's see. I kind of want to draw cards here so we can definitely hit our land next turn. Uh, play this on black so Binding the Old Gods is online if we find any land. Although, well, let's just, just get rid of the Eddie now. Playing the egg next turn into Vanishing Verse or Test of Talents is just as good as playing the egg this turn and doing nothing. 
And this way they don't get to draw cards off their eddy. Okay, showdown. Into showdown. That's a little rough. Let's see, do I want to hold up Vanishing Verse or Test of Talents if I find a land here? Probably Vanishing Verse. I don't think they're going to cast any instants or sorceries. Alright, and it's a tapped land, so it doesn't matter, but at least we found a land. If they only get one creature on the board here, we can play Doom, but now they'll just sacrifice a showdown. Probably just vanishing their eddy here. That's rather fortunate for us. Actually, I think we're binding the Eddie. Because it can get us lands. We do run quite a few lands in this deck. We're up to a 45% chance to draw one here. Of course, if we get any land, we can cast a Yorian and be in a pretty good spot. Untapped land, that is. I don't think I'm too concerned about this Draneth Magistrate. We don't try to cast spells from anywhere other than our hands. Alright, Toski is a good Vanishing Burst target, for sure. But Toski can't attack into Yorian, so I think we're just playing Yorian since we draw the land here. See, do I care about the Magistrate or the Counters? Probably the Counters, right? The Magistrate can't attack into Yorian here either. Third showdown. Alright, maybe they'll draw some gas off of this one. Alright, they find a giant killer, which can get rid of our Yorian if they have an untapped land. Which they do. This would be a nice place to draw one of our four extinction events. But we're not under that much pressure. We can just keep slamming Yorians here. Although well, they do have a second giant killer, which is a bit of a problem. Though now we can... Or we could Archon and Vanishing versus the Tusky. No, we can't because we don't have enough white sources. to Doom Foretold and Vanishing versus the Toski. No, because we still don't have enough white sources. And Doom here, they just sacrifice the showdown. I think here we actually just Vanishing Verse and then hold up Omen or Test of Talents. Both Omen and Test of Talents, or, well, Omen makes our Yorian better. That's fine. Okay. There's all that. I want to play the Omen here before the Spellbinder gets down. Binding's fine. I'd really like a sweeper though. Alright, that can stall us for a bit. Not too bad. Six 
takes the Archon. Interesting. I wasn't really planning on playing that anytime soon anyway. It's a giant killer to draw a card. They should have cast the other one, technically, because they won't be able to play it next turn. But it won't matter unless we can find a sweeper. Unless they have an untapped white source here and can play both, sure. But if we can sweep from here, oh, there's three showdowns. No, we've seen all four showdowns already? No, we've only seen three showdowns, but they're almost out of gas in their deck if we can survive from here. Okay, that's a land which means we can Omen of the Sun and then Yorian, I believe. Yes. Which gets us a good handful of blockers as well as some cards and a bit of life too. Nope, it's pretty much got to be extinction event from here. They're way too wide. Uh, neither of those are it. This Naya deck plays more cheap permanents than we do, and they also all draw cards because of Eddie, so Doom Foretold is not ideal here. Yeah, they should be putting their counters on the flyers because we can't block them with the human tokens. And they'll probably tap our Yorian here. Extinction event, so I do want to kill this Eddie. They might have Stomp here to save it, but if that's what they do with their last two mana, that's okay. That might be lethal. No, not quite, but we need two extinction events here, which is just not going to happen. So yeah, we'll go to game two. Alright, Arkham comes in, eliminate Nightmare, probably good, and Verdict, of course. Out can come Test of Talents and Treacherous Blessing, paying life against such an aggressive deck. Usually not ideal. And probably Golden Egg is just the worst card in the main deck in general. I think the one of Negate is fine because it can hit a Showdown. Or, of course, an Adventure Creature. Do I really want four Elspeth Nightmares, though? They don't have that many non-creature spells for me to discard with it, so it's usually just a bad eliminate. All right, we'll take out two of those and go back up to the full golden eggs. We do need to keep the cards coming. I 
showdown is showdown and Kabira takedown are probably the only non-creature spells they run. I think those are the only ones we saw anyway. Negate can hit the adventure side of an adventure creature. Elspeth's Nightmare cannot. I will play first. Mm, two lands and no way to draw cards. I don't think that's going to be it. Five lands and a Shadow's Verdict. Uh, not what I'd ask for, but I think it's better than going to five. Back one of the lands. Hopefully, we'll draw some sort of action here. And hopefully, they also play into the negate. Their deck can definitely just slam creatures here okay that's a good draw now we're doing some things well there goes our shadows verdict Not really much we can do about that one. We don't have Essence Scatter. Mm. Do I bother holding up the Negate here? Or do I just buy Yorian? I think we're just buying Yorian. Mira to stop our 1 1s from attacking. Fine. I'll still Yorian here, I believe. They can still jump. And of course, Yorian can block the Spellbinder. Showdown. Hmm. We don't have any ways to deal with a Clothis other than Doom Foretold. But at least we have Negate up for the Giant Killers. Just play our tapped land and pass. turn we can shadows verdict and then Amiria's call and then we should be in a pretty good spot clothis of course is a creature spell so we can't even uh, negate it but we can also allow them to turn it on and then get it with shadows verdict sure that's seven to turn it on yes playing around the negate, sure, but they are playing into the Shadow's Verdict. Alright, never mind. 
confirmed. They are not playing into the Shadows Verdict. Because Draineth Magistrate says we can't cast that. Uh, am I scrying here? No, I suppose Amiria's call is perfectly fine. Alright, Vanishing Verse means the Shadows Verdict plan is back on. So I think we'll just plan on that. We don't really need green that much, so we'll go for another blue source. Hold up Vanishing Verse for the Magistrate and negate for another showdown. I want the mana, not the damage here. Interesting. I'll be very happy if they turn on this Clothis. Another Spellbinder, huh? Well, we have to do this now. If they take the Vanishing Verse with the Spellbinder, we can't use it. Shield only protects permanents, not spells, so we can still negate if they give us a target here. That's fine. That dies to Shadow's Verdict, we'll hold the negate for something more impactful. Shadow's Verdict next turn anyway, so I might as well save the life here. Might as well... Yeah, we'll attack with the Orion first. Yeah, I should have cast the Shadow's Verdict first so we could get the damage through, but it doesn't super matter. call we don't need to land that badly so many spellbinders it's their best card against any sort of control matchup and they've gotten three of them in the top 20 cards Elspeth's Nightmare for when we have a creature to kill with it. Okay, that's a good one to hit with Elspeth's Nightmare. Gives us some more goodies. Alright, we can't target it because of that. Oh well. Uh, now we can attack though. Okay, 
Alright, Sentinel's fine. There's nothing to discard, so we'll get rid of that. Mm. Hold back the Archon here because they can trade it for a Spellbinder if they double block with a Sentinel, which we don't really want. Make some angels. Yeah, we'll probably cycle the trium. Probably sacrificing the doom over the Yorian or the uh, Archon here. Because with all these creatures, I don't think they have any outs. As long as we keep our lifelink so they can't burn us out with Clothis. Yeah, no reason to hold this one. Thing here. Alright. I think if we get rid of the shield here, it's lethal. Yep. Well, it would have been lethal even if we didn't, but then they would have blocked. So yeah, got him there. Mm. Not sure about negate here. Mm. But I don't think any of our other options are better. Yep, just run it back. The Treasurer's Blessing there would have been much more dangerous with the Clothis burning us out. So I think we're right to keep that in the sideboard. This hand will do just fine. so we can have both Omen and Heartless act up next turn. Clarion Spirit is an easy Heartless act. Uh, let's see, we don't need double blue for anything, so we'll use this one just in case we need the green. Before they get a chance to make any tokens with that, just get rid of it. Spellbinder takes probably the Archon here. Maybe Doom. If they take the Omen, that makes my next turn easy at least, but I don't think they will. They do take the Omen. Okay, I will then buy Yorian. Hold the Nightmare for a target. And possibly to trigger our Archon. Second Spellbinder, of course. Third game in a row, they've had multiples of that card. Now they take the Archon, sure. See, am I really holding up Omen here? Or no, we can flash in Omen on upkeep and play Doom here, I think is the best available play. Let's go get our double white set up. Put our upkeep stop. Uh, 
don't want to be under too much pressure here, so it's good to start removing their creatures as early as possible. I imagine this is showdown. Nope, third spellbinder, of course. But that's fine. It'll just get sacrificed. And Eddie, huh? Let's see. Would I rather nightmare the Eddie? I think so. I think that's better than playing Omen here. at least pretend we might have a counter spell. Next turn we can play the Archon, which at least blocks the Spellbinders. two Pegasi with it as long as they don't kill it. <sighs> That's a top deck. Uh, kill the big one, I believe. Yeah, we need to preserve our life total. But next turn we should be able to block everything they throw at us. Yeesh, what a top deck with that Toski. That was rude. I would still take an extinction event. Not going to happen. Okay. we find something different we really want to do and because it's a face-up play is eliminate any good not really we have to hold back the Archon or else they'll just tap the Pegasus token with their giant killer here. That next turn we have Yorian up, which could be good, unless we're just dead here somehow. Alright, just get rid of the Clarion Spirit and the 3-1, and trade here. Just jump here, just stop them from drawing as many cards as possible, I believe. And of course they have the answer to the Archon. Alright, uh, still Extinction Event waiting room, please. Never 
mind. So if we extinction event even here, they're left with two one power creatures. Or no, just the one because magistrate is even, of course. Very close. I imagine they'll play Clothis here. Love struck beast, huh? Let's see, if we go for binding here, we're dead to stomp. That's the greedy play. because we only have one green source because I didn't expect to draw a second binding right there. I think we have to Yorian. Take a doom here. Showdown, sure. Those are good cards. trade my Yorian for a uh, Lovestruck Beast, so I'll probably chump here. Alright, they're tapping it anyway, sure. Ooh. All their creatures are odd, hey? That's not bad. Then we can Extinction Event and uh, play Doom. That sounds good. Or we could just bind the uh, Showdown. Yeah, I guess that's better. Save our doom for when they commit the Clothus. There's Clothus. Magistrate. Do they have any other permanents, non land permanents they'd like to play? No. Okay, that means we can bind the Magistrate, and Doom should hit the uh, Clothis. And Heartless Act can deal with whatever creature they have to follow up. We haven't seen anything with haste, so we can attack here. Clothis, but I doubt they play more than two. Our opponent will probably let the uh, Doom go off this turn. Yep, looks like that's the plan. Uh, we can get rid of this binding. Our 1-1 one -one does not need Death Touch this turn. We'll take the lands that cannot cycle, because I don't really need any more lands at this point.
Alright, they must just be holding lands here. I'll hold our omens just in case we find a Yorian. We're in a good enough spot that I don't need to desperately scry for anything here. Amiria's call will do. Though we don't have the white mana up to cast it right now, so that we'll have to wait. Oh, we don't have the white mana to cast it at all. Whoops, I should have kept that white source. Oh well. Opponent gives up. That was a game. 38 minutes. <sighs> but Naya is a very strong deck, and we did manage to succeed without getting overly lucky. So I will take that. Fine lands and test of talents to stop them. Okay, that's a good draw. Uh, probably not playing Vanishing Verse on two, so we'll hold the swamp for now. Looks like our opponent is playing regular old Saltai. If they cultivate here, I might test it. Nope, they just buy Orion. Sure. Looking for pretty much just lands here. I guess another Omen is fine. I don't have anything better to do this turn than play another Omen. Play the Omen of the Sun here as it's more mana efficient. Our opponent's not going to give us anything to go on, and they don't have an instant. Alright, we find a land. Do I just throw out the Doom here? They didn't have a counter spell when I cast the Omen. I'm going to go for double blue here because we have the Omen and the Test of Talents. Alright, let's go for Doom. Get some card advantage here. They don't have that many permanents. I really care about them sacrificing until they've already resolved ultimatum. Unless they're the ones that uh, main deck Gargaroth and Pelucranus. Okay, don't have a green source, which is a bit annoying. I can Vanishing Verse the Nightmare, which I'll probably do here. Vanishing Verse and Omen or Test of Talents seems fine. Don't want them seeing my hand and taking my counter spells. They keep the Florahedron, which probably means they plan to ultimatum here. Cultivator, okay. We might Extinction Event next turn then. And particularly a green one, please. I guess I can't really turn down a Yorian, though. And a green land. Very nice. With that, I think we want to get our binding rolling before we go for the Yorian. These interesting. Uh, they don't have the right colors for ultimatum. Now they do, but they don't do anything. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we 
could use some color fixing, so we'll go for this one. Do I Yorian just yet? They don't have any instants either. Let's see, I can Yorian and still hold up Test of Talents, so I think that's fine. I'm not going to hold up Test of Talents and be able to pay for a dispute here. I think that's playing too cautiously. Take a Doom, do I want a Heartless Act? I guess I can solve their Yorian, so that's fine. Okay. Take the Archon in case they sweep this board. Is it an ultimatum? No, it's a Yorian. Okay. Heartless acting that here so we can keep pushing damage. Uh, another land. Get out of here. Now I think we're in a good enough spot that I will hold up Test of Talents plus uh, pay for Mystical Dispute. Nope, no dispute. Good game. Okay, counterspell, 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 duress, duress. comes out, eliminate comes out, extinction event comes out, and what else? Elspeth's Nightmare is not great, Omen of the Sun's pretty meh, though it did uh, help us find lethal there. And of course we do still want some permanence for our doom. They might take out their extinction events, so I think leaving Pelucranos in is fine. Elspeth's Nightmare is fine as a bad duress. And do I want to bring Cling to Dust in over a permanent? I don't think so. Do I want to bring Cling to Dust in over Heartless Act? Possibly. Let's try that. Because yeah, Vanishing Verse should also deal with most of their creatures. And of course we have Binding for that as well. That's fine. Hard to turn down a hand with Dispute, Binding, and Yorian. And a reasonable combination of lands. Main phase Omen, they're scared. Very nice. have our green source so let's get our white source down doubt we're disputing anything here by Yorian sure and get another blue I suppose and we can take a look at their hands since they were nice enough to tap out for us Feels a little bad if they have binding, but then we can just bind their binding, just like the Elspeth Conquers Death Wars of old. Yep, there it is. Mm, do 
I need a passage here? Oh, we can save that. Stop them from ramping. If they go for their Yorian here, we can kill it with our Yorian. Or we can kill their Elspeth's Nightmare. Guess we're going to need blue here. Though that leaving up the island is rather suspicious. Maybe we just play the other binding here is safer because if they dispute our Yorian, we're in a bit of a bad spot. This does telegraph mystical dispute, but we could be bluffing, they don't know. And I'd kind of like to get this omen down before we go for Yorian anyway. dispute it because we can just kill it with ours Let's see here we can buy Yorian play omen and hold dispute up so I think that's fine Or I could just try and get Yorian down and get rid of their Omen of the Sea and still get the value out of our binding because if we don't use it here we lose it. If they counter the Yorian we have to let it go because of ultimatum. Although they do need exactly an untapped green source for ultimatum. All right. We can't counter dispute anyway, they can just pay for it. That's fine. They got another blue source. Alright, they have the green in hand, sure. The omen holds priority. Doesn't give us any information about their hand. I'll definitely take a duress. Okay, bye bye ultimatum. Bye, Orion. Could have gone for Yorian there. I guess the odds of them top decking another ultimatum or giant hit were minuscule. Yep, and they can pay for dispute here, so we have to let them do their thing. Hmm. Going to need to draw some non lands here. We are flooding a little bit. to the top, that can't be good. down so we can thin the deck a little bit as we've drawn quite enough land and we have triple white in case we draw uh, Emiria's call so we don't need to worry about that uh, blue is 
is most important for counter spells, so we'll just keep taking that. Should be fine. Short. They are almost to the point where they can cast ultimatum and pay for dispute, which would be bad for us. Gargaroth is fine, we can bind it. And our Yorian shuts down their attacks. Moment of the Sea still holds priority. Uh, I think I'll take both of these. Archon is a threat they have to respect, and we'll trigger it next turn anyway because we want to play the Binding. Scrying. They don't have other Yorians in their deck, so they're less incentivized to hold them. I'll play this out on blue. Alright, let's see if we can draw a hard counter here. Do I make them use their mana here? I don't think so. Let's see what they get. They've got a lot going on on this board. They're going to have to find something good. Yep, those are the strongest cards they've got. I think we've got to get rid of Kiora here. Or do we? Might be Valky's more of a threat. I think Valky is more of a threat. This way at least we get to keep our blockers this turn. Mm. There's no point in using our dispute there. I might upkeep Scry here for an answer to any of those things. I don't think we're dead yet though. We do have all the mana in the world though. Those are phenomenal answers to both of those things. Don't mind if I do. Uh, we have to shuffle away the binding though. That's rough. Didn't have another way to draw cards. I think Lily is more of an issue than Kiora at the moment. Alright, it's good that we held our dispute here. And we'll wait to play the Omen until after their Kiora tap stuff. So we can uh, chump their ginormous kraken. They'll probably. 
probably want to take the Archon here. Since they'd have to let him rule their Yorian, I might upkeep Scry here again. Solve the equation, okay. I think that's probably game. We'll see what they find though. Seagate restoration to draw two is fine. Gargaroth, I'm not really that concerned about. Do they not run Auron's Epiphany? Treasurer's Blessing should find us something. Let's see if they want to block the Pegasus first. Act can deal with the Gargaroth. Let's see what's in their hand first. Pick the binding. And and turn. Yep. draw for them after just stealing our Archon. Okay. Once again we jump the 8-8. It's possible we shouldn't have taken out Extinction Event. But all of this would have been solved if we drew more of our counter spells. Alright, yeah, we're not beating Coma. We have zero outs against Coma. Mm. Yeah, I think if we let it get to that spot we can't really sideboard assuming we're going to have them resolve an ultimatum and get all those creatures out so I don't think we want to bring in the extinction events for those uh, situations we're much better off countering or making them discard the the big stuff before it gets down not a great hand but it's a hand turn and we can do it again. Okay, that's a nice binding target. It's so nice of uh, Elspeth's Nightmare that it doesn't actually make me discard until next turn. Okay, Polychronos with uh, Yuri 
Scorpion face up in hand is a questionable play from the opponent here. Yeah, that's an oops. Thanks. Unless they're really big braining me, but I kind of doubt it here. Disdainful stroke, very nice draw there. Of course, we don't get to attack with our Yorian, that would be asking far too much. But now we can play our own Pelucranos. cards but the counter spell will probably mo be more useful later so let's just heartless act it we still need a couple more cards in the graveyard before they can bring back their pelucranos Possible we find something we want to do at sorcery speed here, like that. No. Good game. Omen here is lethal, though our opponent didn't know that. Not too bad. Good stuff. Alright, so with this deck, we just beat one of the more popular aggro decks in the format and the most popular control deck in the format. Not too shabby. Our sideboard might be a little too tuned for control, um, because we had a little more that we wanted to take out than we wanted to put in against Naya there, and it would probably be similar against any other aggressive deck. And there's not a whole lot we really want to take out against control. Like the Omen of the Sun's not great, and Eliminate isn't. Eliminate would probably come out as well, but. Otherwise, everything, an extinction event usually comes out. So let's see, that's six, ten cards that we want to take out against control. Hmm. Maybe our sideboard does need to be tuned against control then. And we did pull it off there. Six sweepers should be enough to deal with most aggro decks. We do have plenty of removal. A reasonable amount of life gain to try and climb back out of the hole after you get there. So yeah, maybe I wouldn't change anything. I think it's pretty pretty strong as is. Vanishing Verse did quite well as a remove target Toski Bearer of Secrets, and otherwise it did a fine eliminate impression. Uh, yeah, this deck was ooh, difficult to play. I'm rather tired now, but it was rewarding and fairly entertaining, I hope. So yeah, thanks for watching.